Well, today on GeekSmart, we're going to take two of these bad boys, the Google Nest routers, um, and, well, put them together as a wired backhaul mesh system. So, let's get into it. Welcome back to GeekSmart. So today we're actually going to take two of the Google Nest routers. Now typically if you buy this in like a multi-pack set, two, three, you'll get one router and then the rest will be Google Points. Those points can only be done wirelessly. So if you're looking to actually do a wireless setup and not actually have um, extra ports or actually doing a wired backhaul between the devices, then this is going to be a moot point for you. However, I've always wanted to do this, and I decided, you know what, I found a couple of these on uh, eBay that I got a pretty good de deal on. I actually have a third one coming, because I want to see how good the range is, specifically in my house with a two versus three point system, so I'm probably going to do a video on that eventually as well. That said, so these are used. Um, I'm hoping that they're actually set back to defaults, but that said, it doesn't really have to be. Um, Looks like this one actually has a couple small scratches on it. Uh, but in this case, all we're going to really need, because I already have my Ethernet port in place, um, I just actually got these, so they came in the mail today. I haven't even opened the boxes. So we're going to set, set this up like they are factory reset. Um, I'm hoping that they are. But that said, what we're going to need to do here in just a second, I'm going to disconnect my, my old router, and then we're going to unplug the power from the modem, from wherever you're getting your internet from. Now, uh, it all depends. In my case, I have a cable modem. You'll need to unplug the power from that to reset that. Um, and that way it resets and actually can connect to a new router that we are, because since we're replacing the old one. Uh, and then we'll, f we'll actually do the full setup in this case, from the beginning all the way to the end. So if you're doing the wireless system, the beginning is going to work fine. When we do the wired, it's probably going to act the same. We're just going to do a wired backhaul with it versus a wireless. So, with that said, I'm going to go unplug this stuff. Let's reset the router. Let's get this thing plugged in, and then uh, we'll have to download the app. So you can see I do have the power disconnected here. It's actually, this is the cable for it. Um, I have, this is the Ethernet cable that's coming out of my modem, so this is going to go into the wiring network port. This one right here is actually going down to my switch. So that's going to go into my local area network port. And then I do have the power I actually already ran over here. It's plugged into the wall there. So with that said, we have the world symbol. Oh, sorry. The world symbol versus the kind of arrow symbol. World symbol is going to be your wider network. This is going to be your local area network and then power in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and put my switch to the local area network port and my modem to the wide area network port. Like so. Hopefully. Come on, get in there. There we go. And then power into the middle in between the two. And that should be that. Now I'm going to go ahead and power up my modem because it's definitely going to take several minutes before it gets to there. Uh, looks like there's the light there. And then, of course, there. We're gonna, I'm going to get the app downloaded on my phone real quick. But we're going to want to wait until this probably starts getting into a, a, a setup phase and probably a different color. But I'm also going to wait until this fully indicates as well that we know that we have we actually have internet going to this thing to do the full setup. So I'll give it a, it's probably going to take three, five, three to five minutes. And then we'll be back at the app. So just to show you what it looks like, fully light and lit up here, but then we have a kind of a pulsating one here. So let's open up the app and get going. So unlike the Google Wi-Fi, this is the Nest Wi-Fi, the newest version. We are doing the setup through the Google Home app. So this is the what the app looks like. We're going to go ahead and open it. I already have it downloaded because I actually have other Google Home devices. Um, and so we can now actually set, uh, didn't set up two devices. Let's click on that. Um, it's going to be at my home. That's fine. So it must have already seen the devices already connected or you know, through the Bluetooth or whichever devices. So it's looking for them. So the Nest Hub, Nest Wi-Fi Router. So I already have the Nest Hub set up, to be honest. Nest Wi-Fi Router, let's do that. Camera permission. To scan the QR code and set up the device, the QR home permission needs, that's, use your camera. Let's hit the scan code. 
And I guess there's a code probably on the bottom of the device. All right, so I got the camera from the app set up here. It's probably gonna be hard to see it, but let's find out if I can, I can see the QR code. Oh, it got it, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and hit join. So it's asking to join the network. I'm gonna hit join. I head over and uh, we'll finish up at uh, the other location. Okay, after I haven't touched anything, it did say connected, and then it automatically went to the screen to create a Wi-Fi name. So I'm gonna use the same SSID that I always use. Um, that way all of my existing devices, while some may need to be reset or restarted, um, they'll all find this. And I, I always use the same password as well. I'm gonna put that in and be right back. So I put the password in, just hit next, because it doesn't it actually makes you so you can actually see it. Turn on Wi-Fi router and access point stats. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Turn on Wi-Fi Nest Wi-Fi cloud services. That sounds good to me. Where is this? This is actually in my basement. So I'm going to call it basement. Hit next. Now it's going to create my Wi-Fi network. We're going to give it a moment to do that. And uh, I'm sure it's going to actually restart the device as well. So let's give it a minute. We'll be right back. So things went from blinking to solid back here. Um, let's go see if the app is done. So it went from we're almost there to we're close, gathering a few more things. All right, we'll be back in a second. All right, so it just left, so it must have been restarting, so we should be connecting to Wi-Fi. Uh, the connection failed. It probably didn't automatically connect. Give it a second. So it is interesting here. It's actually telling me there's no internet connection. It actually sees the Wi-Fi router, but it's not giving me internet. So that would be on the connection from the the modem to the router. So let me double check something, may see if anything needs to be restarted real quick. All right, I, I'm not sure if it's time or what, but I went. I just went back there and actually unplugged the cable, the network cable from the router to the modem, and the the actual Nest itself went kind of had a yellow amber light rather than a white light, and I plugged it back in. Ten seconds later, it went back to white, and I come back in here, and now it's back. So I don't know what caused that, but. We should be able to connect now. Let's find out here. Connected. All right. So I don't know if that was a fluke in my setup or if it was something that actually did go bad back there between the modem and the router. But sometimes you do have to reset those connections and it seems like it worked just fine. Want to set up another Nest device? Yes. Yes, I do. Place your next Wi-Fi point. Points work best when there are no more than two rooms away from each other. And we're not going to do a point. We're going to go far away, as far away as I can in my house, but we're gonna wire this bad boy. Okay, so I just plugged it in. I have the cable that's actually running to my switch plugged into the wider network port on here, and then the power connected. We're getting the white glow. I guess now it's solid. We're gonna go back to the app. Now, I don't know if I have to set it up wirelessly and then can go wired, but I'm gonna go all the way out. So this is what we're gonna do. Here, we're gonna hit next. Plug in the Wi-Fi point, we know it's good. Looking for devices, Let's see if she actually finds it. No devices, all right. So we're gonna try it a different way. Okay, so I have the app open, I'm right next to actually the, the, the secondary unit, and I still have it plugged into the wide area network port. Um, I backed back out, so I'm back in the regular home app, set up Nest Router, um, choose the home again, and now it's gonna look for the Wi-Fi device. It should be able to find it, because it's probably gonna find it via Bluetooth, I'm assuming. That could be wrong. Um, so it did find it, there we are. <clears throat> and we're gonna choose the Nest Wi-Fi router. And let's see what happens. Just preparing mesh. Let's give it a minute, we'll be right back. Oh, scan the QR code. I'm gonna scan the QR code on the bottom. Same process, I'm not gonna film that, and then I'll be back. All right, it wants to join the network, let's hit join. Let's go ahead and let it connect to Wi-Fi, let's see what happens. So it hit connected. Uh, and then now we're at Wi-Fi. Okay, so I got stuff is on. That's true. Where is this one? This one's actually in the living room. I'm going to hit next. Turning on mesh Wi-Fi. Let's give it a moment. So I got a problem connecting to cloud. That is something I don't know. And maybe it just waits until... Because right now, obviously, it doesn't have internet. We'll give it a minute, and uh, we'll find out. So it did give me the... Uh, I ran. I just basically hit the setup thing again real quick, just run through it exactly the same way, and it worked this time. Want to set up another Nest device? No, we don't. Testing mesh connection. We're going to let's see what happens. Let's give it a moment to find out what happens. Mesh test complete. 
So we have a good connection. I'm appearing that it's probably because it's going through the wired. If it's saying it has a good connection, we'll hit next. Stay in the know. Do I want to stay up to do with Google's hardware product updates? Uh, not right now. We can come back to that later. Restarting your Wi-Fi will power off and restart. This will take longer than two minutes. All right, well, we'll give it some, some time. Okay, so now we're back. We're done with the whole setup in that regard. Um, if you actually come down here, we can see in the basement, I have the basement Wi-Fi in the living room. There's the Nest Wi-Fi router right there. Um, if we hit Wi-Fi, we can actually see we do have uh, two devices, the Nest Wi-Fi router and the Nest Wi-Fi router as well in the living room with a good connection. We can actually um, do a... Wow, holy cow. Let's do a speed test um, and just see how fast it actually is right this second that is impressive just off the get bat specifically where i'm coming from with my existing routers that i just got done testing uh, but those are never de definitely not as fast as these all right testing upload speed i always like these the routers that they have a, a, a test bed built into the actual app itself to do a direct off the router test internet speed test complete 250 27 up i like it i pay for 200 so Anything faster than what I pay for, always a bonus. Um, 26 devices, they've already connected. So that, that's the beautiful thing about keeping the same SSID and password. Capital letters and lowercase letters, the exact same. Everything reconnects automatically. Sometimes you have a few devices that you have to wait for a while, or you can just go over and manually restart them, and they'll, and they'll work just fine. Um, but that's you know something that you can do. So you can see in here all the devices that are connected. And uh, it should be a loner. I mean, this one, let's just go to... Um, a device that I have, my iMac. I can actually see the IP address right there, the MAC address and everything. So that's awesome. Uh, I like apps that can do that. Um, so that's uh, the gist. It's fully set up. We can obviously go through here and actually do other things um, and see devices. Let's see guest networks we can turn on, family Wi-Fi we can set up if we'd like. Uh, WAP3 security, if you'd like to um, increase your security, reset the network, that's great. I love when you can actually just reset the network with one button. Factory reset network, that would be obviously not something I want to do right now because I just got done setting it up. Uh, internet, um, that's where you can see the devices that are actually connected. I bet if you actually click on this guy, huh, you can actually pull up your Wi-Fi routers online and everything looks good. I like it. You can actually run a speed test on that. You can actually run a mesh test. Let's just run a mesh test real quick. We did It obviously did that when it first came up um, just to test it. Um, let's double check that make sure that, because I'm not anywhere, I'm actually near the basement wire mesh point now. I'm not anywhere near the, the primary or the secondary one. So mesh test complete. Should come back good, good connection. And that's because it's wired. Uh, and that's the beautiful thing about wiring things. Right? You don't have to worry about length and distance. Now, if I was to do this again, well, let's get back here in a, in a second. So there it is. There's the wired setup of the Google Nest routers. Now, of course, first you need two or more Google Nest routers. I will say, and this is what I was going to say a second ago, um, that I would probably recommend setting it up wirelessly right next to it or nearby within that point-to-point -point mode because you probably have less problems jumping up and down. Um, I had to go through this up three or four times total. I, sh I actually showed two times, or the, the one time that it kind of failed, um, and then I went back and I just ran through this up one more time and it, and it worked great. Um, I think if you did it a wireless setup and then you took it and then wired it in, I bet that would actually run better. But I wanted to give the worst case scenario possible where basically you're outside of the wireless capability of this thing. Um, while I was, uh, before I actually set that up, I was actually connected to the main uh, router, just the one point. I am impressed actually just a little bit by just the range of that little guy. So hopefully when I actually do the full review of this, um, I'm going to be a little more uh, hoping, I guess. Uh, and like I said in the past, I am I do have a third one coming, so I'm probably going to do that setup off camera because it's going to run the same. I'm probably going to do the setup wirelessly, take it over, wire it in. That said, guys, I wish there was also a point, and of course, they I know they, they didn't design it for the wired backhaul, but it has the capability of it. Um, I wish they would just delineate whether it was going wireless or wired, like a lot of them do. But that said, um, if you have any questions or comments, please post those below. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video if you can. Like, give it a thumbs up. You can head over to techgooch.com. That's where you can actually get a hold of me directly. Uh, same thing goes, I will put a link down below when I actually, excuse me, end up, end up finishing up 
my review of this and posting that on TechGooch. Um, same thing if you're on TechGooch, you'll see posts back to this channel too. So if you have any questions, head over down below, comment. If you have a more direct question that you really want to get answered, head over to TechGooch.com. You can actually get a hold of me through there. But got to start somewhere, right? And uh, so far, I'm off to a good start. I'm actually... I think this is going to be a good system. Now, a lot of people have said great things about it. We'll see how good it is. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Thanks for watching the setup. And we'll see you back here for a future video install or tutorial. See you soon.